Welcome to the Nerdy Medicare Portal Expanded Denial Details Tutorial. This slide says that everything we are going over today is accurate and that the most current information is found on our website. Expanded Denial Details are available in the portal for all users with access to the Claim Status function. The portal provides denial details within the claim status results so that you do not have to perform an additional eligibility inquiry for the information. These are the types of the denials that the portal will provide additional details on MSP, HMO, eligibility, date of death, hospice, home health, overlap, patient status, skilled nursing facility and inpatient, alien and incarcerated, and ESRD. To begin, you will submit the claim status inquiry for the claim in question. Choose the tax ID, MPI, PTAN, and program, and then enter the required beneficiary details. If you'd like, you can also narrow down your inquiry by the optional claim details. In claim status results, a list of the claims matching the criteria entered will display. To view details, select the View Claim link. Here's the Claim Status Details page. A summary of the claim is displayed on the top, along with the claim diagnosis code and pointers, and the claim line details. If the claim was denied, you'll see a link to the Denial Details in the Related inquiry section. In this example, it is MSP Denial Details. By choosing the link, the portal will display the applicable information. For MSP denial details, the portal will display the insurer type, insurer's name, address, policy number, effective date and term date. Below that, the following resources are provided. The phone number for the BCRC for updates, IOM references, and reference to MSP topic page at Meridian Medicare. For HMO claim denial details, the portal will provide the start date, end date, plan ID, and the plan name and address. For entitlement or eligibility claim denial details, the Part A and Part B entitlement and termination dates are given. To update their entitlement, the beneficiary or legal representative must contact the Social Security Administration. For date of death claim denial details, the date of death on file in the Social Security Administration record and the CMS reference are provided. To update the record, the beneficiary or legal representative must contact the Social Security Administration. For hospice claim denial details, the portal provides the from date and the through date and the provider MPI. In the Resources section, you'll find a link to the MPI Registry website and the CMS IOM references. For the Home Health Denial Details, the from and through dates and the provider MPI are given. Again, a link to the MPI Registry website and the CMS IOM reference are provided in the Resources section, as well as a link to Home Health Information at CMS. For overlap denial details, the from and through dates of the overlap will display along with the provider's NPI and an additional resource to the MPI registry website. For patient status denial details, the from date and the facility type will be provided. The services have not been paid due to the incorrect patient discharge status. For any skilled nursing facility or inpatient denial details, the from and through dates and the provider MPI are displayed, along with additional resources to assist with the de denial. For alien or incarcerated denial details, the start and end date of the alien status or dates of incarceration will be provided. Additional resources are also provided. For an ESRD or dialysis denial, the from and through date and the provider MPI will display with additional resources. 
In rare instances, an error message may be displayed while trying to view the denial details. This may occur if the patient's files have been updated after the claim has processed. In this situation, you may need to contact the Provider Contact Center for further assistance. Thank you for completing this tutorial.